Here in Shiloh, uh, we just saw an incredibly powerful movie uh, that explained uh, the actual uh, ongoings of Shiloh and uh, the history of Shiloh and, of course, the, uh, the birth of Shmuel and all the great stories of Hannah and how she prayed and, and uh, her prayers were, were listened to and given, uh, she was given a son named Shmuel. Um, so we're here with Pete Hexeth seeing this. I, I believe this is his first time in Shiloh. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to thank Ken Abramowitz for bringing us here. And um, we're, we're in a room where, where we're standing with 3,000-year-old uh, artifacts. And uh, I think we're all incredibly impressed. It's a very powerful demonstration of the land of Israel, God of Israel, of course, uh, everything that's in the Bible. It now is clearly archaeologically proven, not that we needed it, but uh, it's nice to have it too. No, indeed. I, and, and it's amazing that you've been here before, but many years ago, and that none of this was here, that this is all uh, a new demonstration of, uh, of what was, was here and has always been. And uh, it, again, it's a reinforcement of, of seeing it and walking on the ground and is understanding the, the tie of, of the Jewish people to the land and to the history that uh, speaks to modern times today, that has ramifications and implications for um, current discussions. And it's just, it's an honor to be out here and to see it. And uh, it, is, it is humbling to realize the, the amount of time and the, uh, the history of such an amazing people. It seems like that you are very exciting. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't know. I, as always, Israel has, has over-delivered. Uh, I didn't, uh, it's not that expectations were ever low, they were always high, but you never quite know exactly uh, the significance of what you're about to see. And a movie like that and this, uh, this context, just to walk out and see it, um, underscores the amazing history of this place.